Hi there, my name's Gabe. Today we're going to talk about compensation tracking within lien law, and specifically we're going to talk about the distributions feature, which we're really excited about. So first, it's important to note that law firms of two or more people are looking for better ways and faster ways to understand who earns what at the end of the day, at the end of the week, at the end of the month, at the end of the quarter, and at the end of every year. And it's complex. New partners are being added, people are leaving, you're changing, you know, different people are originating different clients, different people are responsible for different clients, and different people, different mix of people are working those clients. So Lean Law provides a lot of flexibility and automations so that compensation tracking is no longer a mystery or an end of end of month, end of year, end of quarter spreadsheet exercise, but rather it's in real time with, with distribution. So let me talk a little bit about what that means. So first over in the user settings here, I've got the ability to go into compensation tracking and do my standard revenue allocation. So this is usually set at the firm level and we're talking about what percentage an originating attorney uh, receives. Here I've got 15, you see if I change that to 10, it automatically calculates. Uh, the, the working attorney essentially gets what's whatever's left over. Let's say that's 20% for origination. Responsible attorney gets a certain percentage. Firm share gets a, the firm receives a certain percentage. Uh, and then there's the working attorney, which is a calculated field. You also have these other options, which I'm not going to go into now, uh, but you can hover over to get more detail on all of these options. I'll note that there are many reports that, that are driven by this. So at the end of your month, quarter, year, you've got reporting on compensation. But today, I'm going to focus specifically on distributions. Distributions, I, let me just switch firms here to, to a different demo account so that I'll go to user first. Just a demo, just a demo account to show you today. So all Lean Law users should be, and if you're interested in Lean Law, you should become familiar with the billing workflow. This is world-class automation and and um, ease of use for administrators, operators, and attorneys themselves. When you go from a bunch of work in progress for a given client to invoices in a few simple steps. You send those invoices out, you submit them to QuickBooks, but you also send them to your client. You can do e-payments, all sorts of stuff. You track those sent invoices. So here, let me just take myself out of the filter here and you can see exactly who's received those invoices uh, and who's paid. It looks like none of these have been paid yet. Maybe I just started a billing cycle. Again, this is a demo account. That's track setting, but you've got a receivables report here. What we're here to talk about is when you actually receive payment as a firm on those invoices, a partial payment or a full invoice payment or full balance payment, payment covering multiple invoices. Well, what happens then? In many law firms, this, uh, this at the end of the month, quarter, year, you have to try to reconcile those and, and understand, maybe make broad strokes at who earned what out of, out of what. And it gets really complicated because of that reminder grinder uh, or the hail door method of compensating attorneys. Well, in law, Lean Law, we've got this awesome functionality to assign payments right when they come in, they show up on this page, and you can see that they have not been added to a distribution yet. You can see the amount, the invoice ID, the client, the date, etc. Now, let's say we're going to, let's, let's filter here everything in November. So, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to create some distributions from November here. So here we are, we've got November 30th all the way back to November 6th. I'm gonna select all those and I'm gonna to assign to a distribution. Now let's, let's, uh, let's create a distribution. Let's create November 2023 distribution. So here I am with my November 2023 distribution. Oh, I already created one. Let me save it to that distribution. Awesome. Now I'm out of payments that match the filters because I've taken all those payments that happened in the month of, uh, and I could go back and I could select one from October if we know that that should have been included. Then I can go to manage distributions. I see my November distribution right here, and I can edit the distribution. I can open the detail of the distribution, which will include all the payments, It'll a report on what was originated for which partner, the referrals, expenses, and total. And then I can submit as bills to QuickBooks to make paying your attorneys as simple as that.